Hey Pandalings, this is the Black Belt Panda and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to build this awesome cozy modern living room. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the couch. Now this couch is pretty cool because it not only has form, it has function. You can actually use the couch to sleep at night. Pretty neat. So what you'll need is some red wool, bed, and trapdoors. So first, you can go ahead and lay down a rug like I did here if you want. Uh, we need red wool there, and then four wide, and then another one there. And now you have to decide if you want the pillow part of your bed facing inward towards the center of the couch or outward towards the ends. I like it facing the ends and it comes out looking like that. Uh, but if you want it facing inward, it will look like that. So either one can be good. Take your pick. Like I said, I like having mine facing out. Alright, pretty simple. You also need some stone slabs if you want to do a little footstool, um, coffee table sort of thing. And the trap doors, just put along the backs and close them, just like that. If you'd like, you can put one on the side. Uh, I think I like mine on the side, like that maybe? Yeah, let's do that. That looks better. I think that's what I had. Alright, there we go. That looks pretty good. So, functional couch, you can sleep the night away in it, but you can only sleep at night. Moving on! Now we'll make the TV. If you'd like, you can add two glowstone blocks at the bottom center where you want your TV, and then I'll give you a little bit of extra lighting. We're going to start off with a wooden stair here and here. That'll be the base for the TV. Next thing you want to do is place some black wool. You don't need to use black wool. I just like the look. You'll need four wide by two high. And I like to put a jukebox on one side and a note block on the other. This just keeps it looking the same, but the jukebox gives you the ability to play records on your TV. Then line the sides with trap doors, like so. And then go ahead and line the top, just like that. And stick a painting on the TV see whoa I see that bug still there I was hoping that bug would have been fixed by now I'm trying to think which block you have to aim at well I'll get this really quick and then I'll come back on okay that took quite a few tries now the trick is to aim at the second block in the one above this wooden stair and there we go got a TV and if you'd like, you can just hop up in the corners here and put note blocks to look like little surround sound speakers. Alright, next up, the bookcase or shelf or whatever you want it to be. Okay, for this you'll need wooden stairs and wooden slabs. Pretty simple. You just want to put a wooden stair just like that. Stack them three high is what I like to do. Do the same on the other side and then fill in the blank spaces in the middle with wooden slabs and line the top with more wooden slabs. You got a little shelf, book bookshelf, knickknacks, whatever, I don't know. Next up, let's do the fireplace. Okay, here you see I have the fireplace outlined on the wall behind it. First thing I'm going to do is toss some netherrack in here, which will be our fire source. Some bricks, some iron bars to go in front. And then we're going to toss some brick blocks along the back just to fill in this outline. Alright. And we're going to cap those with stone slabs. We're going to bring that out once again. Like so. Whoop. 
brick, not netherrack. Line the front here with slabs. Cap it off. Uh, oops. There. I want that one block lower. pretty good. Now to get the fence gates to work we have to put a couple blocks down. Alright. We don't want the middle one. So put a couple blocks above the slabs just like that and then you can put fence gates on the top. Open the fence gates up just like that and then put trap doors above them. Now we've got a, uh, a mantle. Now we can light our netherrack. Cool. <clears throat> and there you go. A fireplace. Looks good. Alright, what's next on the list? Uh, let's do these closets. These are pretty cool. Okay, so to do the closet, start off with a hole in your wall. Two blocks deep. Two blocks high. Two blocks wide. Put some glowstone on the floor right there. And we'll put some bookcases along the back, just like that. And then you can go ahead and put double chests. This gives you a little storage area because the glowstone still shines through. It still works. All right, now to get the doors to go on, just back up against the closet, face the other way, and right-click on the block to put the door down. Pretty simple. I got a closet, functions as storage space, looks nice, and even adds a little bit of light to the place. All right simple enough. Let's do this cool little window thingy. I'm not sure what it's called. I guess it's some sort of display. Planner box? Don't know. Let's do it anyway. Okay, so start off with just a window inlaid by one block and put some dirt in front. Put some trap doors on the front of the dirt and you can put a couple flowers in or a tree to make a little shrub, bonsai, whatever. And then you need wooden stairs Oops. Three, four, five across, just like that. And then bring the edges down with fence posts. Two, three. And ta-da. Done. Pretty simple. Very quick and easy. Alright, next up, let's do the ceiling fan. Alright, now this one's simple. Just a little fence post, glowstone, and then wooden slabs, two blocks long, on all sides of the glowstone. And we have ceiling fan. Quick and easy. Alright. Next up, we've got this cool little work closet, workbench closet thing. Yeah. Pay attention. Alright, so to make this, start off with a closet. A little hole in your wall. Just two blocks in, just like that. Stick an extra block along the back there. Put some glowstone in the floor. Just gonna put a chest on that glowstone so it still works and a crafting table in the back and again the door trick just back up against the wall here or against the chest and put the door on that block there and there we go we got a little workbench closet so you can craft you can store crafting stuff in the chest pretty nifty alright well <clears throat> other nice little touches because that pretty much covers the building you can get some torches and pick a fence they go with, uh, there's really only two right now. You can go with nether, brick fence, or you can go with regular wood fence. And just like this up here, just stick your fence post down and put a torch on top. Looks pretty nice. <coughs> Other things you can do, and a neat little way to hide glowstone as well. Grab some leaves and some glowstone, and just like this, put your glowstone in the floor. Stack your leaves on top. Now you got a cool little shrub. The glowstone still works because the shrub is a transparent block. And that'll work even if your graphics are on fast and the block isn't transparent because it still exists as a transparent block. Etc. Etc. 
Um, ooh, I think that about covers it. You can stick paintings up. I got one there. Just a random little painting. I think this place is pretty cramped now. Well, not too cramped. It's still pretty nice, I think. You got double chest, double chest, single chest over there. Um, this could actually double as your bedroom simply because the beds are here. So you don't have, if you don't want to build a bedroom, hey, you know, just build the living room and you're set. You can sleep on the couch at night. Some people prefer that. <laughs> um, that about does it. So I got a question for you guys, and I'm going to try to do this every episode now. Just sort of like a little uh, question of the day, question of the episode. The question of the tutorial doesn't matter. Anyway, so which do you guys would win? Which do you guys would win? Yeah, that made sense. Which do you guys think would win? Skeleton or spider? Or better yet, skeleton with plus 5 accuracy or spider with plus 8 speed? That made no sense, but pick one. Thank you. All right. So if you like the tutorial, please click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already because I am coming out with more tutorials, hopefully soon. Um, I've got some more time off of work now lately. The, I got switched sort of kind of to part time. It's a little bit difficult to explain, long story. Uh, but I'll have a few extra hours every now and then that I can devote towards tutorials, so I might be able to get uh, quite a few more out lately. That's why things have been slowing down, in case you didn't know, by the way. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't uh, heard from before, um, I have a new job and it's taking up a lot of my time. And I'm still trying to balance making these videos with the new job. But anyway, enough rambling for now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. Please tell me which you think would win, the skeleton or the spider. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. This is Blackwell Panda. Later.